Hey everybody, and welcome back to my channel. It's Walanda. In my other hair related videos, I've only mentioned how I refresh my twists and giving you the products and verbally go through the steps of what I do, but I've never actually demonstrated how I actually refresh my twist. So that's what this video is going to be about today. The last time I refreshed it was, I wanna say probably like Tuesday. Today is Sunday. So either Tuesday or Wednesday. And normally I refresh my hair probably every three to four days. I do not go a whole week without refreshing my hair because my hair likes to be damp. It likes to be moisturized. And that's what it needs in order for it to grow, to be honest. And honestly, I'm in a phase where I just want to give my hair the best and what it wants because I realize that's how it is thriving and growing so quickly without me having to like constantly be on it and try to figure out what's going on with it. So this is three week old hair. Oh, I'm starting to get tangled. That means this weekend is my wash weekend. So my wash day is gonna be this Saturday because these are old. Normally when it comes to my mini twist, I do not allow my hair to pass four weeks without it being washed if it's just my own hair because my hair could get really, really tangled really quickly. If you guys are new to this channel, welcome. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe if you like these type of videos. But if you are new, then you have not seen any of these products that I'm about to mention. So let me go ahead and start off with what I do first. Normally, I just wet my hair. My hair is not the type of hair where water alone is going to suffice. It's not. I need more than just water. So lately, I have been, lately as in the past year, I have been using a hair refresher. And the one I'm currently using is the Camille Rose Honeydew Liquid Moisture Refresher. It has nettle roots infused in it. And currently, this is what I'm using. So I'll probably do an updated video uh, if the product ends up changing so you guys can know. Um, so I can let y'all know what is working, what isn't working. But I do spray my hair with the refresher first because my hair just needs that moisture. And I realized spraying my scalp with something that has some moisture in it as well just freshens up my scalp. Being that I, or just wakes up my scalp really my scalp can get very dry not dry as in like flaky dry i mean dry as in there's no type of moisture at all besides my sweat that has been dried up on my hair and my hair needs you know that moisture so i always like to use a refresher in order to just wake up my my twist and it's just easier right now to get these refreshers because these refreshers have glycerin in it they have honey in it they have other um, oils to help wake up my hair and lock in that moisture after the water the main ingredient has evaporated it still has that moisture still in it so and just like that my hair is like ploop. it's more a lot of people ask me all the time every time i'm on camera and i'm saying oh my hair is two weeks old three weeks old four weeks old they're like how do you keep your hair looking good for that amount of time and to be honest it's only because of the refreshers it's only because i am wetting my hair with something other than just water and that alone just plumps up the hair and makes the hair look more alive. You know, when you have a plant and you have not watered the plant in so long and you end up watering the plant, the plant just wakes up like, oh my goodness, thank you. That's exactly the same thing for our hair. Our hair wakes up as soon as that water hits it. So even if I am two, three weeks down the line, as soon as I wet my hair with a refresher, it looks 10 times better. And that's how I am not afraid to walk out with unruly hair, unruly hair, because my hair doesn't look quite unruly, 
it looks fresh, you understand? It doesn't look just freshly done type of fresh, but it looks moisturized. It looks plumped type of fresh. So yeah, uh, I'm doing all this talking and my hair is drying out. <laughs> and next I go with my oil. So currently I am trying the Rene Shea Souffle oil for scalp and hair. I have a little sample testers. This is from Lush Cosmetics. I was in there like a couple months ago and I just wanted to try their natural hair products, which I am trying out another product I will be speaking about soon on my channel. So I just got these as a tester. Um, I'm not really a shea butter type of person when it comes to my hair because I just don't like the amount of thickness it is and how hard it is for me to rub it into my hair. But then again, the last time I really actually used shea butter, um, I wasn't wetting my hair with a refresher. So maybe that's why it really wasn't working on my hair. And I really was discouraged with using it because it would just be really thick for no reason. But this is a souffle. Like it literally melts in the hair and in my hands when I rub it. So this is just an added step just for this time because... I am currently trying this out and I want to use it. I want to use it all up. Oh, my nails. So right now I'm just using it. I'm putting it everywhere. I put it on my ends. I really concentrate on my ends with these things, with these type of products because these are the most dry parts. Those are the oldest. So like I said, that was an unnecessary part of my routine. I only use it when I have it. And sometimes I have it, sometimes I don't. It just depends. If I go and re-up on my other Lush products, then I'll get more samples. If not, then I just don't have it. So that's just like a little treat to put on my hair. But on the regular, what I really use is the African Pride Moisture Miracle. You guys, if you've seen my other mini twist videos, y'all know this is what I'm using currently. Um, I really love the smell of it. I love how lightweight it is and I love all of the ingredients in it. And yeah, it's just it's just my current go-to. So I put a good, generous, generous, a good, good amount. Mm, I put a good amount on my hands and then I just worked at it in my hair. If I feel like my hair is getting dry while I'm doing this, then I just go in and spray some more. I don't mind over spraying with mist because I need like my hair to be supple. Like I need it to have the all the amount of moisture it can get because it hasn't had any moisture in a while, so I don't mind it to be extremely, extremely damp. Now, the two things that will always be controlled in my refresher is the mist, the water base in the beginning, and the last step, which is the castor oil. I realized once I put the castor oil on my hair, my twist really becomes plumper even more. My castor oil is very, very heavy, and it just makes my hair very juicy and yeah not greasy but oily yeah so castor oil does well with my hair it will always be the last step of my refresher for the castor oil i normally keep it towards the body and the end of my twist of course this is optional but at the end to style especially if i'm stepping out I definitely have to do my edges just so it could look a bit more put together. Also, mainly because um, this is three week old hair. So my edges are going to look very, um, very fuzzy, very fizzy, fuzzy. I don't want to say out of control because they don't look out of control, especially when I just sprayed my hair with the water. My edges look plump just like the rest of my hair. But if I'm stepping out and I wanna, you know, look, look a little bit more put together, go ahead and do my edges. 
nothing big, nothing dramatic, just a little bit of Gorilla Snot. Gorilla Snot is the only edge control I use because it does not, it does leave, it does leave a little bit of something behind, but compared to other edges, it works, especially in this heat, it works. Now, I like, like I said, I like my hair being very unruly, so I don't have a problem with it. But if I want, I could go, just go in and twist. It ain't going to stay, so let me just not. <laughs> I don't have the tools with me to make it stay, but yes, this is how I refresh my twists. It's very easy, very simple. And then while I do the retwist, sometimes I go through because my hair, it just depends. Sometimes it, especially if it's very moisturized, if I did a good job moisturizing my hair throughout the month, my hair would become like this a lot of the time where it just starts to unravel on itself and the coils be coiling. Like, if you can see this up close, let me see if... I don't feel like getting up. Should I? <laughs> okay, I'm going to show you guys. Hold on. Like, look at this coil. It is so juicy. I hope it's focusing it. I can't really see. So, I just go ahead and twist any loose ends. Yeah, I just love seeing when my hair, like, at the ends are unraveled like this. Because that just means I did such a good job when it came to moisturizing my hair the knots just melted off while I was refreshing it. This is a reason why I refresh so often because if you wait until the end of the month, if you are washing your hair, your hair once a month, if you wait to the end of your month for your hair to finally feel water or moisture again, then that's a problem. That's where the knots accumulate and do not want to separate. So if you're doing this on a regular, yeah, it may seem very tedious and task-wise, but it honestly does not take a long time for any of this. And I don't know if you can tell, but like, probably not. But like, as I pull, as I pull my hair up, you can see there are so many, uh, like webs of hair that comes from each single strand. Basically, all the fuzz that is up and down the strands, it is sticking to other two strands. So if your hair is dry the entire time and you have that constant, constant friction of your twists rubbing up against each other, getting entangled with it one another, and you don't ever put any water or moisture or oil or butter cream. I personally don't use cream. Um, I feel like cream makes my hair even more tangled. I tried it a couple times and I just feel like it dried it out and didn't do anything. So that's why I just stick to refreshers and oil. All right, guys, that is all that I have for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next.